right, I'm trying to do some troubleshooting on this Craftsman LT2000 with a um, Briggs and Stratton engine. I hit something, a stump, with the mower yesterday and it completely locked up the blade. The whole thing died and black smoke came out. And so I, of course, immediately shut everything down, pulled it off of the stump, um, put everything back into starting position, uh, tried to start it again, and it turns, but it doesn't fully kick over. So I'm not quite sure, I'm not quite sure what the problem is. Um, when I had first tried to start it, I noticed that it smelled a lot like fuel, um, like real heavy fuel, like maybe it was flooded or something like that. So we let it sit overnight. We actually also tried to push this up to the garage and the rear wheels locked up and I've tried everything to get them unlocked but they won't unlock and this morning I came out and tried to start it again hoping that maybe it had flooded and maybe if it sat for a while it would start but it does not start so um, what I did notice is when I was trying to start it this morning that it backfired once and um, nothing different other than that so I'm going to uh, show you what it sounds like when I'm trying to start it I know I've been reading that it could be a problem with the flywheel maybe the flywheel was sheared or um, people have mentioned the crankshaft and a few other things. So I, I'm hoping that maybe somebody has um, some good direction to go in first based on how this sounds and acts. So I've got it in neutral and I am depressing the brake and I've got it in park. And we're going to put it in to choke. And put the key in here. And also the blade is disengaged. And I've got it on high. And by the way, I did try resetting that. Um, just in case. And no change. So, here we go. That's all it does and then I, once it backfired so I'm not really sure I I did get under the um, I did check under the deck to make sure the blade still spins freely and um, the belt still there it's attached um, the belt does look a little bit loose but I don't know if that's Normal. I mean, it's not broken or anything, but um, I did notice it's, it's quite loose. Maybe you guys can tell me if that's normal or if I need a new belt. Um, but I don't think that the... I, I'm no expert, but I don't think that anything down there would actually cause this from turning to, to not turn over, so... Anyway, any help would be appreciated. I would prefer to try to fix this myself rather than pay an arm and a leg. So, um, anyway, thanks guys.